Good day, YouTube. It's the 3rd of December, 2022. Welcome back to Glenn Speed Shop. If this is your first time, welcome to Glenn Speed Shop. What are we working on today? We've drugged this back out. This is my 1988 club car golf cart. It is gas engine carts, 8 horse Kawasaki, 340 something cubic centimeters. Um... It is a cart I bought for probably not more than a couple hundred bucks. There's some older videos on it, getting the thing up and running. It was missing a bunch of parts. I found some used parts uh, on a group's page off Facebook. Um, and, you know, I found a set of takeoff new tires, wheels, hubcaps off a new club car. Um, and then we painted it uh, on my channel with uh, Rust-Oleum. So uh, there's all kinds of videos on this cart out there. I reupholstered the seat bottom. I repainted the seat backs in a bright white. Um, the, the golf cart was rough. This thing was busted. Um, it, I really hesitated spending much money on it, but I didn't really know where the project should go after we got the thing to run and so forth. I don't golf. Um, but it'd be, you know, fun run around. And I have two other golf carts. I kind of have three at the moment. Anyway, subject to change for the week's over. Um, now, uh, we're, me and my nephew and my dad are talking about following a race this coming June of 23. It covers seven race tracks, eight races in eight days. And we're going to take our RVs. I'll take my truck camper and my dad and nephew take pickup and travel trailer and we'll be able to camp at all of the racetracks. It sounds like fun. Wouldn't it be fun to have a golf cart to run around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I got three of them. None of them are really suitable for taking more than two people, but that could change if I just get off my lazy butt, right? So drug this one out of hibernation. Did a video on getting the thing running after evidently it was been a whole lot longer than I thought since it was running so I ended up cleaning out the fuel system and taking two carburetors to build one but hey we got it running I drove around the block and as I remembered you know the thing smoked a bit um but I never had run it much in fact I drove it more today than I've ever driven it um, about 10 runs around the cul-de-sac and uh by the end of that uh the smoking had kind of gone away so Okay, and that's kind of what I thought. They sit around, the ring's got to get warm and, and get happy again and stuff. So that's what happened. So I'm now at least a little more comfortable to spend a little money on this thing. Um, as long as I can get it back, right? So uh, we're going to do some upgrades. That's what this video is all about. i um, going to do a little, I've done a little online looking, but it's time to get some online ordering done. I kind of like the sport m mode of this thing. Um, in the no roof, no windshield kind of deal. Um, but it didn't come with a roof either. So I've had some that did and I don't know. They feel a little claustrophobic to me. We're only going to use this in the summertime. If it's raining, we ain't racing anyway. So thinking to leave it like that. But I want to put a rear seat on it. And I always wanted to put a light kit in it. So headlights and such. So... I think that's what's on the agenda for this old beat up old golf cart that looks pretty good from 10 feet away. And it runs good. It ran real good on my test drive today. I'd actually like to take it out and put some like real miles on it, but uh, not the carts today. A lot of things that uh, aren't as they appear, probably the body's mostly just sitting there. There's some trim and such that aren't there. Uh, <clears throat> the one that goes around this front cow, I think it's out here in the shop. Probably need to clean it up, maybe put some paint on it. Put that piece on the seat bottom. I didn't get the the seat side. There's little clips that um, bolt down here. I have those. I don't have the ones that go on the seat. I might be able to fabricate something. So we'll look into that again. No screws really, well, only a couple screws holding this body on. So we need to fix that. 
Um, I think there's a screw or two that need to go there. I'm not even positive if it's in the right position or not. Can't remember where I left off, to tell you the honest truth. So I'll get some stuff going on here, and I'll bring you back when I got something better to show you. Um, and then I'll let you know what I find for a rear seat. I'm not looking for anything spectacular. They're all pretty much the same. You just get some that are fancier than others. Um, they make them now that uh, they're a nice seat, and then the seat would flop down and give you a cargo carrying area, which is also pretty cool. Um, we'll probably do that. The exhaust on this thing, somebody fabric cobbled it and did a terrible job. Um, but it's almost too nice not to have. So it's got a muffler going crossways in the back and this tailpipe that's banging into the suspension. Um, I don't know if it was me, probably me that put a little piece of uh, plumber's tape on it to support it. But what I really need to do is just bob it off so it has some clearance and doesn't bang into the springs no more. Just taking care of a bunch of little stuff like that. The brakes work good. Um, I uh, will think about changing the drive belt. Um, it seems to work okay. It looks okay. I don't know. Bad one from a good one probably though. Anyway, I'm rambling. But let me get started on this thing. I'll bring you back when I have something cool to show you. And we'll kind of figure out where we're headed. Get the parts coming. Reconvene next weekend. Alright guys, this is the next day. Got a little bit of time to spend on this Sunday to work on this golf cart. Uh, one of the other things I don't think I mentioned yesterday or just a few minutes ago was uh, the lack of choke. Um, the carburetors on these Kawasaki engines on these golf carts um, do not have a choke built into them. Um, I suspect somewhere along the line there was a version that did. The choke was built into the air cleaner system. And I... Hang on, I'll show you the rest. There's more to this air cleaner than shows. But what has happened is uh, evidently the exhaust went bad and somebody built an exhaust for this, which is way in the way of the original air cleaner system, which is this. Um, and this would have attached here um, on top of the battery and would have drawn its air from outside of the engine room, which is a great idea. And the choke, I think, would have been in here. Something you would just reach down and get a hold of on that side of the little firewall and choked it in the airbox plenum. Well... The exhaust to buy a new is kind of expensive, and so far I've avoided doing that. Um, so I bought this second hand because it didn't come with it. Um, then I realized with that exhaust the way it is, I can't really use it. Um, and do I want to spend more than I paid for the whole cart for a new exhaust? When what's here works, it's actually fairly quiet, it sounds okay. Um, so we're, we're kind of running with it at this point. I may end up buying an exhaust down the road if this cart turns out to be wonderful. But in the meantime, I need the ability to choke this thing. Uh, preferably without opening this seat up. So went down to the auto parts store this morning. Bought a piece of exhaust pipe. Inch and a half exhaust pipe thinking I would shorten this and slide this over and not sure which direction to point it maybe towards the firewall um, if I shorten this up I should be able to increase this gap so it's not hitting this exhaust pipe and then cut this along here and build some sort of flapper and a hinge that I can cable operate or lever operate or something. Now this engine moves a lot. Um, it's really rubber mounted to smooth out the golf cart, right? So mounting something hard to the body or something that wouldn't be desirable, it'll just tear it up. So this is what we're gonna do so far. I put a little mark right here. I'm gonna shorten this up, put it back on, figure out which direction to turn this thing down probably 
and then come up with some means to build a flapper to shut off most of the air inlet and uh, be able to start this thing in the mornings. So that's what I'm doing. Let me uh, work on this for a little while and uh, I'll bring you back when I have something I can show you. Okay. Well, here guys is the choke air intake mechanism that I have come up with. Um, such as it is, it does hopefully work. I haven't tried to start it yet, but hey, we're about to do that. So we took that piece of exhaust pipe. Um, I have an old piece of, you know, cut off radiator hose. It fit pretty good so that I have this, uh, you know, connected. So this slides over a plastic nipple here and then this clamps it to the plastic this clamps it to the steel and as you can see it's real sturdy so keeping in mind that this engine rocks a lot the mounts are really designed to take the vibration out so everything here had to be very flexible right okay especially you know up and down not so much side to side but anyway so i found a uh a lawnmower throttle control at the local store that gave me a uh, kind of this 90 degree so a uh, choke cable would have come in like this and it would have had to have a loop around so I was looking for something that was horizontal or parallel found one anyway sort of works um, sort of works good I messed up on the alignment here I'm gonna have to fabricate a new pin uh, possibly a bolt with a hole in it and then back the nut to it because this needs to swivel a little um, and I've got it a little out of alignment. It does work fine. Then you can see for holding it, I've just taken a washer and put a bend in it back here. Took a little uh, regular flat washer here, put a little bend in it to hold the cable so it doesn't spit out locking nut, etc. If I move the... Yep, looks good. So that's how we accomplished it. I haven't fired it up since yesterday. Um, it does need choke to get it started when it's cold. So let's see. Where can I put the seat? All right. Let's choke it. Well, that's run. That's choke. Okay. Turn on the key. Fire in a hole. Fire's right up. All right, I'm happy, happy, happy. So we got choke done, and uh, next video will be uh, putting the headlights in, and then we'll get to putting the rear seat on. So um, got some cool upgrades coming for this thing. If you're interested, check back probably next weekend. Guys, thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. We appreciate that. And uh, this old uh, golf cart's going to uh, give us a lot of enjoyment this summer, right? All right. Guys, we'll catch you on the next video.